Welcome to the Celebrity Reflection. I'm gonna do a full tour. You'll enjoy this tour because we're gonna take it deck by deck so you're gonna be able to see exactly how the ship is set up. This is Jason here. Let's go ahead and get started with the tour. We're gonna to start the tour right here at the main pool area. This is midship. There are two pools here in the main pool area. They are separated by a bridge right there in the middle. There are four hot tubs on each corner of the pools. Also, there is one pool bar. You'll notice that in front of the pool bar, there are extremely comfortable looking loungers. They fill up pretty quick, so grab one of these early in the morning if you can. The Celebrity Reflection is part of the Solstice class, so it is important to know that there are five ships in this class. All ships are extremely similar. I'll go over the names of those ships here in a little bit. On one side of the pools, there's the pool bar, and on the other side is where the live bands play and they offer fun games and stretching in the morning and things like that. Up a deck on deck 16, you'll notice that there is a canopy, which is really cool because you can relax in these chairs and still have a view of the pool area, listen to the live music, and be shielded from the sun, which is nice. Up here on deck 16, you'll also find the mast grill where you can order a hamburger, a hot dog, a soft served ice cream, or a beverage. It overlooks the main pool area right here. And on the other side is the mast bar, which is a nice spot to have a drink, relax in the sun, maybe have a seat at the bar. This is also a smoking section. And because the mast bar is directly opposite of the mast grill, it also overlooks the main pool area. Let's take a look at the solarium. So we're gonna shoot right past the main pool area here, right past the bar. We're gonna go right into the solarium. The solarium is completely covered, check it out. It's covered completely in glass. Is what's cool about the solarium and what a lot of people like about it is that they control the environment. A lot of pool solariums are extremely hot. They don't have air condition. But this one, because they control the environment, is always nice and cool. It is an excellent place to sit back, relax, and take a nap. I have been on many celebrity ships, and I always enjoy relaxing and hanging out in the solarium, especially when we're leaving port. Over here in the corner is the spa cafe. You can order a smoothie or you can get a healthy snack. The healthy snacks are prepared in the morning and in the early afternoon. Also, if you would like a coffee, there is a coffee station available. The solarium has a couple of hot tubs on either side. Throughout the solarium, you'll enjoy nice, relaxing music. Now check this out. We're gonna shoot right through the solarium, head right on back by the pool bar and the pools again, keep going straight, and we're gonna go right into the buffet area. This is Ocean Cafe. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right when you walk in, you'll see Segundo Bacho on the left. There is also a specialty coffee place down on deck five, which is called Cafe Al Bacho, which we'll take a look at here a little bit. But I already have my routine down. Right when I wake up, I head right to Cafe Al Bacho and grab a cappuccino. I relax, drink that cappuccino, then I get a second one and head right on up to the buffet and get Eggs Benedict with French toast. That's my routine every morning. Usually for lunch and dinner, I'll eat somewhere else. I like to go into the main dining room and enjoy a dinner there. Like I was saying, there are five ships in the Solstice class. So this is what I'm gonna do. Down below the description of the video, I'm gonna show you what those ships are and I'll even provide a link to those sailings so you can see where they go. So after you watch this tour video, this tour video is good for all five of the ships. And keep in mind that if you wanna book any one of those ships, make sure you give me a call. You see, is what we do is we provide discounted rates on all cabins. It's amazing and people love it. Our clients can't believe it when they call in for the first time and we quote them a rate. Our inventory comes right from Celebrity. So keep in mind, to get the best rate guaranteed, which is what we offer, you must give us a call. I'm gonna put my 1-800 number right there on the screen. These rates are not posted on our website. If you enjoy eating outside, you can head all the way to the back. Let's go up a deck. Up a deck directly above the buffet area, 
is the Sunset Bar. The Sunset Bar is an exceptional spot to have a drink. It's all the way here at the back of the ship. It's a relaxing area and it has amazing views. You can also get to the Sunset Bar going down deck 15. Just head on down the jogging track, go by the lawn club and boom, you're right here at the back of the ship at the Sunset Bar. Speaking of bars and speaking of drink packages, it is a very good idea for you to understand the difference between the premium and the classic package. When you give us a call, if you're interested in knowing the differences, please ask us. Take a look at this. On either side and front of the Sunset Bar are two strips of grass. They play putt-putt golf here and bocce. It's really cool. The strips of grass run right into the lawn club. The lawn club is what I wish my yard looked like. <laughs> a definite favorite here in the lawn club is the lawn club grill. There are more than 12 grilled specialties that they offer with your choice of poultry, seafood, beef. You can enjoy a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the chefs. The lawn club started with the solstice class and you can find it on all five of their ships. In addition, it extended to the Edge class, which consists of the Celebrity Apex and the Celebrity Edge. The alcoves here on the side are an additional option if you would like your own private space here in the Lawn Club where you can order food and drinks and relax the entire day. Also here in the Lawn Club, you'll find the porch, which serves the freshest of seafood. You're gonna wanna try their seafood tower if you love those raw delicacies. And you'll see the porch is also just right around the corner from the main pool area. More toward the front of the ship is the Solstice Sun Deck. If you just wanna get away from the crowd and catch some rays, it's a perfect spot right here in the front of the ship. All the way at the front, you'll find the basketball court. It's a smaller court, but it does the job. I want you to get an idea of how deck 15 is set up. There's the porch. Right here is the main pool. Right here is the mass bar. Keep going straight. We're gonna go by the solarium, then the solstice deck, and all the way here at the front is the basketball court. Take a look at the windows right below the basketball court. That's the observation lounge. Watch this, we're gonna jump back down to the solarium, go full speed ahead, and we're gonna run right into the Sky Observation Lounge. Right here in the center is the bar. Throughout the Sky Observation Lounge, there are many comfortable places to sit and relax. A lot of people like to come in here with their laptops during the day and get some work done if need be. At night, there's all kinds of entertainment that comes in. There are bands, there are game shows, all kinds of different activities. Now, if you are thinking of going on an Alaska cruise, the Solstice class is a perfect option. When you go to Alaska, you're gonna want an observation lounge at the front of the ship. There is no better way to see those glaciers. The Millennium Class ships also have an observation lounge at the front of the ship. I'll place those Alaska sailings down below the description of the video, just in case you're interested. Let's jump on down to the lower decks. The lower decks are on deck three, four, and five. We're on deck three. Deck three is the smallest of the three. Here on deck three, you're gonna find the Grand Foyer. A lot of dancing and entertainment takes place here. It's nice because at night they dim the lights and everyone can sit around and hang out at the bar and get ready for a night of fun. So if we go across here, we'll get a good look at the Grand Foyer. It spans three decks. So deck three, four, and five all converge right here. Right next to the Passport Bar is the Shore Excursions Desk. I found that I did not need to use the Shore Excursions desk at all. I booked all my Shore Excursions online or when I got on the ship via the app. And right across the Grand Foyer opposite of the Passport Bar is Guest Relation. Now all the way in the back of the ship is the Opus Dining Room. This is the main dining room. Celebrity does Celebrity Select Dining. So anytime that the dining room is open, you can just waltz on in and have a seat and dine. Smart Casual is recommended. This is Lumini. Lumini is exclusive for guests who are booked in suites. The menu changes daily. It is common to find dishes such as filet mignon and lobster tails. If guests who are booked in suites want to go into the other main dining venues, that's fine. Let's jump up to deck four. Right here is the martini bar. It's really neat. It has an outer area, which is cooled. Isn't that cool? 
Martini Bar is a popular spot. While you're on the cruise, you'll definitely stop by and have a drink. And there's a nice little lounge here. Over to the side, there is a bar. All the bottles of liquor are covered in ice. These are premium vodkas, and here you can also enjoy fine caviars. Across the way here, still on deck four, is Cellar Masters. Cellar Masters is a tranquil spot where you can just relax, enjoy a bottle of wine, or check this out. They have a lot of fine whiskey tastings. Right by Cellar Masters is the casino. The casino bar is along the same corridor as a lot of the shops. And along this corridor, you can just walk right on into the casino and you'll find the casino bar. Is what's really cool about the casino and is what we enjoy are the tournaments, especially on sea days. You can go in and enjoy a blackjack tournament or a poker tournament and there are really cheap buy-ins. Let's head on out the casino and go down the corridor here. This is where you'll find a lot of the shopping. Right here is the entertainment center where you'll enjoy games like charades and name that tune, true and false. Also, there's a bar over there in the corner. Also in this area, you'll find future cruise vacations. If you book a cruise while you're on board, you don't necessarily have to book a cruise. If you just put a deposit down, they will actually throw in some onboard credit. So it is a good incentive. And then you can book whenever you want. And after you put down your deposit with them, make sure you call us to book your cruise because we're gonna give you that awesome discount. Heading all the way to the front, right here is the Reflection Theater. Throughout the entire cruise, there is gonna be entertainment in here every night. For this ship, the talent changes regularly. So you don't know what you're gonna get until you get on the ship. It's gonna be good. Just make sure you don't miss any of it. Over here is Celebrity Central. This is a versatile theater because not only do they show movies here throughout the cruise, but they also have game shows like Deal or No Deal. Let's jump up to deck five. Let me give you a quick rundown of deck five. We're gonna head by the jewelry shop, the world-class bar. Right here is Cafe El Baccio, and down here is the Ensemble Lounge. All the way in the back of the ship are three dining venues. Let's head back midship and take a closer look at deck five. This is right where decks three, four, and five converge. Over to the right is Sushi on Five. The sushi here is a la carte. It's part of the specialty dining. I know you want to know the difference between specialty and complimentaries, so I've placed the link down below the description of the video under dining. So you can check out the prices and see what's complimentary and what is charged. Across the hall is Cafe El Baccio. Desserts are changed out depending on the time of day. In the morning, you can enjoy croissants. At night, cakes and brownies. Here's where you'll grab your specialty coffees. The experienced baristas will make you a cappuccino, Americano, a cafe mocha, or you can choose from a wide range of teas, hot or cold. You can sit out here if you like, relax and enjoy your coffee. I did pretty much every morning. And then I headed up on to the buffet. Still here on deck five, right around the corner from Cafe El Bacio is the World Class Bar. This is an elegant space to sip premium drinks. They specialize in gin and homemade mixes. Make sure you try one of their premium whiskeys. It's a nice place to sit back and relax and enjoy a drink before dinner. Now past the World Class Bar, going toward the front of the ship is where you'll find all of the jewelry shops. So throughout the cruise, they'll be doing all kinds of really cool raffles and giving away prizes. Turn around going the other way on deck five. We're gonna head toward the back of the ship and go to the Ensemble Lounge, which consists of a few venues. The main part of the lounge, which is a tranquil place to enjoy violin or piano music at night. So here there are a few other venues. So right around the corner from the bar is Michael's Club. This is exclusive to guests who are staying in suites. So it's a nice place to come in and maybe do some work on a laptop or hang out at the bar here. All the drinks are free. You just open up one of the doors and grab whichever one you like. Or if you come in during the regular operating hours, you can just get a drink from the bartender. Right next to Michael's Club is Murano. Murano, you'll find classic French dishes with a twist because the dishes are served and made right at your table. Keep in mind that Murano is part of the specialty dining. So if you'd like to see the pricing of that, make sure you check out that link under dining down below the description of the video. Let's head on in to cuisine. In cuisine, you can embark on 
an unforgettable culinary adventure. It's led by Le Petit Chef. It's an animated 3D character guiding you through an astonishing tour of his virtual kitchen. Across the hall from Cuisine is Blue. Blue is exclusive for guests who are staying in Aqua Suites. Now folks, if you're staying in a suite, you can still dine in Blue. However, the guests who are booked in Aqua Suites will have priority. Here, the menu changes daily as well. And you'll also find excellent dishes such as filet mignon and lobster tails. Right in the middle of Blue and Cuisine is Tuscan Grill. Here you'll notice the ambience is that of a rustic element. In this Italian restaurant, you'll enjoy prime USD steaks, handmade pasta, or try one of their authentic Italian wines or cocktails. Let's jump up to deck 12 and take a look at the spa. When you first walk into the spa, you go over to the right, you'll find the salon. So ladies, if you'd like to get your nails done or your hair done before going to the theater, make sure you make an appointment. Gentlemen, if you would like to get a shave or a haircut, then you can also head on over to the barbershop. It's right across from the salon. Also here in the spa, you'll find Thermal Suite. It's called the Persian Garden. There is an additional charge to come into the Thermal Suites to hang out here in the Persian Garden. However, check this out. If you are booked in an Aqua Spa Suite, it's included. So here you'll find a sauna, a steam room. There's a cold room. It's a nice place to unwind. Speaking of unwinding, right across the hall is the gym. On the way to the gym, you'll walk by the spinning room and the yoga room. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gym. So here you'll find treadmills, stairmasters, free weights. There's awesome views of the ocean if you want to do the treadmill and have some pretty decent views. Also, you're going to find machines. Personal trainers are available for an additional fee. And remember, there's also the jogging track up on deck 15. If it's not too windy, it's definitely nice to go up to the jogging track. But on those windy days, it's nice to come down here to the gym and hit the treadmill if you'd like a long, nice walk. On deck 12, you're going to find the concierge. On deck 10 is the library. This is probably one of the most elegant libraries that I've ever seen on a cruise ship. And then if we go down to deck nine is where the games are played. So if you want to play a card game or relax and play a board game, those are all available to you. One of my favorite spots on the ship is the hideaway. It's pretty neat. There are nice comfortable chairs where you can overlook the side here and see the elevators, people getting in and out of the elevators. And there's also these neat little cubby holes where you can grab a seat and uh, relax. I came in here and did a lot of editing and it was nice because the coffee maker's in here and I could just sit and relax. Thank you folks for joining me on the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a call. And if you could, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day.